Good morning, Grizzled Outdoors. It is a beautiful morning, and we're about to hit the road for our trip to Gulf Shores, Alabama. So let's get going, and if you like the video, subscribe below. Hello, everybody. Are we ready to rock and roll? I can yes. see. There we go. Now I can see everybody. Hey! Almost. We're, <laughs> on, our, we we're on our way to Alabama. Pretty decent channel cat.
training. We are at Alligator Alley in Alabama. Just chilling, just chilling. You do be vibing though. What used to be creeks and swamps and bayous is now turned into waterfront property. So just being an alligator has pretty well got some of these guys in trouble. Doesn't seem like much, but our arms and legs tend to start breaking around four feet. So that little alligator can actually do quite a bit of damage. Now once they jump up in size to about 10 feet or so, which this guy's uh, maybe knocking on 11. But at 10 feet, that bite force jumps to about 1,800 to 2,000 pounds. And if you guys make it to the back of the swamp and see or read about Captain Crunch back there, he holds the record for bite force for a male American alligator at 2,982 pounds. Birds seem pretty brave. Fifteen. You might have a better fish, huh? Or something other in the trail. On the jig? Yeah, black, and the red 
Whoa. That's a big old cat. Yeah, earlier. Everyone else, anyone else have any opinions?